all of the tools that enable trade in Africa are at local level or regional level or county level. The special economic zones that power industrialization in Africa are at county level. The agro-processing manufacturing capacity that takes place and powers industrialization, job creation, and innovation in Africa is at county level or regional level. And therefore, it is incumbent upon us to ensure that we provide the necessary tools to enable our sub-nationals to be globally competitive and, of course, to be competitive in Africa. The African continental free trade area presents an opportunity a market of 3.4 trillion United States dollars, combined GDP and consumer spending, business spending and consumer spending rather, which is projected by the year 2035 to be a combined uh, GDP of 16.2 trillion United States dollars, positioning the African continent to be at that time the eighth largest economy in the world by the year 2035. But of course, our continent cannot eat potential. We cannot be a continent of potential forever. We have to realize and see this potential become a reality. As far back as May 1963, our founding mothers and fathers, when they convened in the great city of Addis Ababa to establish organization of African unity, not only was their objective to push back colonialists, to free the continent of Africa, but it was also to integrate Africa's economy, to create a single market, to create jobs for young Africans, to create competitiveness, and to position our continent as one of the leading investment destinations in the world. That was over 60 years ago when that vision was set out. I'm very happy today that under the wisdom of our leaders, the Assembly of Heads of States and Government of the African uh, Union, today we have taken concrete steps towards making that particular vision a reality. The AFCFTA has been ratified, as we speak, by 47 countries on the African continent. It is rapidly uh, transitioning, as Cabinet Secretary Miano was saying, from negotiations to implementation and with the vision and leadership of our heads of states, we are determined that over the next four years, we will accelerate implementation, particularly in the, in the sectors that have been mentioned today. We have identified agriculture and agro-processing, transport and logistics, pharmaceuticals, as well as the uh, automotive sector as key drivers of Africa's economy. And we have partnered and are collaborating with the World Economic Forum in identification of opportunity, investment opportunities across these sectors. And according to our studies, these four sectors constitute up to $130 billion market for investment in Africa.